Hey there guys, it's time to jam with Jam Time 2000. Um, I'm going to delete that world because that was a failed attempt at my survival world. So let's, I'm going to do a survival world. So the cook will be the land of Jam Time 2000 game. More option. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave it alone because my last one was I set the thing to large biomes, which really, which really fucked things up. Now I'm just gonna wait. Oh, there we go. And I spawned in a in a biome that I actually, that, that's actually useful. So I'll start off by punching sheep to get wool. Already we're off to a better start. There we go, three blocks of wool and five mutton. Now let's punch let's start punching the tree a tree. Mm. Hmm, it's not very often that you see an oak tree that looks quite like that. But we're gonna destroy it nonetheless. Yeah, the last time I tried doing a survival world, uh, eventually I, I, I was stuck in a roof, for, roof forest, which isn't the best when it comes to finding stuff like sheep and other animals, so I tried to get out and I got out and I was in Batten, the extreme hills and then the forest farm and I was trying to get out to, and I was trying to get out to ocean because my, the best way, because in my opinion the best way to search for different biomes is by ocean <laughs> I'll just continue by punching trees and probably breaking my, my hands probably going to be broken by now so to say to give my so to give my what player am I anyway? So to give my player a break, I'm gonna turn these logs into planks and make a crafting table and I'll make sticks then I can make a pickaxe then I can collect stone what a cheap what achievements are there to earn Okay, so these are the ones I can earn right now. Discover every biome. Change your respawn point. So.
adventure versus one kill one. Then going to getting an upgrade can start a better pickaxe and acquire hardware. So what I do is normally with my wooden pickaxe, normally I just keep on breaking stone with it until the pickaxe is destroyed. What the hell is killing all the chickens? Hmm. I'm probably real blind. I'm probably real blind. I'm probably real blind in the chicken. What's if I'm blind and I'm hitting the chicken? There we go, my pickaxe is nearly destroyed. My nose has been running a lot lately and I think it's the pollen that's causing it. So, I don't think I'll be pre- Yep, there goes my pickaxe. Now let- So the first thing I'll do is draft a better pickaxe than a axe. Shovel. And a sword. I'll turn the render. Not now that I've changed some things, I can probably get away with putting the render distance up. Yeah, that way. It, yeah, that way it'll load in more. Maybe that they'll probably avoid a bit issue of. Come on, game. Maybe I'll bring it down to just 22. God damn it, that's still lagging. Fine, I'll put it down to 16. Honestly, wouldn't it, it, it kill the game to let me have a decent rendered distance without causing lag? If 
spawn 10 chunks then <sighs> so it looks like travel by horse will eventually be possible and by eventually I mean and by eventually I mean when I can be bothered trying to tame one And at some point I do want to find a savannah bar And at some point I do want to find a savannah bar And no, I don't want to build my house in a savannah bar because, because of the Because of problems Because of problems with the With the grass not looking so nice But I'd be able, I'd be able to live But I'd be able to well, I don't want to go to a savannah farm so I can get some trees. Get. In fact, speaking of trees, I'm going to chop down a bunch more oak trees because I'll keep the logs and turn them into and and turn them into to charcoal. Oh look a village Well screw building the temporary house I'll go to a village But then again I kind of feel like that's cheating a bit mm. What do you think I should do? Should I build a temporary Should I build a house to live in or just set up a makeshift home in one of these homes? I don't know, I kind of feel, I kind of feel like that's stealing a bit. No, I haven't got very much time to make up my mind. Oh, there's a blacksmith. I guess I'll just set up. Oh, iron armor. I guess I'll just set up shop in here. And I'll put a no, put a door here. Let's clear out some of this junk. Well, these two think bits of armor can just. Go up there and I'll make a bed. You know, one thing I should probably do is here is get ready to head off and and explore further.
The first thing I'll do is make some. The first thing I should do is make charcoal. I'll do that in this furnace, and then in this furnace I'll cook some food. Then I can put some chicken in the furnace once all the mutton is done. Oh, it's over there. Oh, that's a chunk loader. Start loading when loading comes to load. Right. Let's see what part of drops they've got here. Because I might feel some. Uh, I don't want to fit, I don't want to completely fill my inventory with crap, so I'll just take a bunch of potatoes. I didn't know the villagers were actually smart enough to plant and harvest their own crops. I just thought the game generated the crops for us to steal. And so I will. I'm not gonna grab it. I'm not gonna grab any wheat because I've already because wheat is something I can get easily. But I will, however, grab some some carrots and potato, but not wheat. The villagers can keep their wheat. Well, I might have. Well, I might take the wheat back. So, well, I might take the wheat back. So, all right. Well, I might take the wheat back already grown and then I can use that and then I can use that to and then I can use that to make some bread mm. comment down comment down below comment down below if you like wheat how long have we been recording for 18 minutes. Right. Yeah, last time I was record. Yeah, last. Yeah, when I attempted to do it the first, do survival the first, do survival the first time I was recording for about 30 minutes. I was recording for about 30 minutes, but then, but then, uh, eventually I got to a point where I just threw my hands in the air and decided that that wasn't going to work. Navigating this village is very confusing. Once I get 18 wheat, I'll be able to make 6 pieces of bread. Right, 
Now I'll head back to the blacksmith. Where is it? Ah, here it is. And what I'll do, uh, and what I'll do is I'll kill she is I'll kill some sheep and take a bunch more wool, so take a bunch more wool, so wool, and then a bunch more wool, and then when I go, 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 and then I'll make a bunch of beds so that when I go exploring every night, I can every night I can set a checkpoint so that if I die, I end up at the checkpoint instead of all the way back. Yeah. Go back to where I first spawned, and if I because I destroyed the bed and then I die, then it won't respawn me back where I stepped. It will respawn me at the spawn world spawn. Right. There were lots of sheep net bit around here, but now I can barely find one. There we go, now I can make Let's get three more bits of wool. Now here we go, critical hit. There we go, 15 wool and loads of mutton. Right. Chicken is done, and my charcoal is done. Two way. So I know that one bit of coal smelt, eight items smelt, sixteen. Right. So I'm gonna leave that to smelt, and let. So, let's see, so there's this bunch of stuff which can stay in the chest. These can stay. Uh, I don't need to, I don't need doors because I can just make them make some when I reach my new destination. There are oak trees everywhere, so I won't need any 
oak saplings. I've already got plenty of. Actually, I'll make those sticks into fortune. Right. Right. And we're just about and we're just about ready to go explore to head off, but but we have to wait till the next episode. So thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.